Thank you, Dina. It's 834. I'm Tom Whedon with Linda from the Frederick County Animal mm-hmm. Control and Adoption Center. Good morning, dear. Good morning. How are you? So good to see you here this morning. Thank you. And you brought a couple of cool guys in with you, Titan and Monster. I did. Those are the two clowns you were referring yes. to. I know, not us. <laughs> That's not the first time that you brought ferrets in, but it always is amazing to see these guys. It is. They are a unique, unique um, little creature. And Carol Fisher is our foster care person for ferrets. So she's my foster care expert go-to lady. Um, But we brought Monster and Titan. They were relinquished by their owners. They are boys. They're four years old. Okay. And the reason they were brought to the shelter is because their previous owners couldn't spend enough time with them. They have jobs and they said that their work was getting in the way of playing and providing enough time for the ferrets. So that's why they were relinquished to us. But they are they're adorable. They're a bonded pair. They've lived together their whole lives. Titan is the little albino with the red eyes, and then um, Monster is the the sable or the roan color, the darker color. And how old would we say these two guys They're are? They're four years old. And so they these people said that they couldn't give them enough time, give them enough exercise. Is mm-hmm. it How is it compared to having a dog in your house? How much time do you need to give a ferret during the day? I'd say just as much. I mean, it takes... Ferrets are not less creatures. They they still need a lot of attention, affection, care, cleaning. As Carol said, they, they do have an energy level, so they need to be run around the house or run around a safe room at least a couple of times a day for maybe half an hour each time. Um, or so just to, to burn off some energy. You can't expect them to live happily in a cage their whole lives. So uh, you can, uh, you would like very much to adopt these guys out together. They're bonded. That's is they, that... they will be. There's Yeah, there's no choice. There's just no choice. Both of them. <laughs> they love each other too much. They do. They've, they've grown up together. It would be unfair and unkind to adopt them out individually. So. I've asked this question before, so I think I know the answer. Mm-hmm. You can go to your local pet store and get your basic Purina ferret chow. Is that correct? Uh, different... Ferret foods. There are different ferret I mean, foods right now. Aren't these very popular pets? Probably more popular than they should be. I, I don't think people realize when they adopt ferrets or purchase ferrets that they require just as much attention as cats and dogs. You can't put them in a cage. They're they're not goldfish. They they need to interaction. They need some rules. They can be litter box trained. You have to change that litter box. Um, you have to provide them good nutrition. They require rabies vaccine in the state of Maryland. They require distemper vaccine. Um, they require vet care. They can have specific diseases. For ferrets, insulinoma is one. Um, adrenal gland disease is something else. So they they have special requirements. They're not a carefree pet. And if you had these uh, these problems with your ferrets, do you do all vets treat this, or would no. they say no? We're going to refer you to somebody. They would either refer, or again, Carol is my ferret expert person. So um, there's a couple of vets in the area that are well informed about ferrets, and that would be your best choice as far as providing appropriate vet care. So we make those recommendations because if you are adopting an exotic and ferrets fall into that exotic category, you need to have a vet that knows everything that they could possibly know to provide the appropriate care for these guys. If you're going to get a brand new ferret, how is that done? I mean, do you get puppies or do they have to be of a certain age before you can get a ferret, or do you go buy little bitty ferrets and raise them? <laughs> I guess you can buy little bitty ferrets. I mean, I'm, I'm just envisioning little bitty ferrets. Well, they're ferrets. cute. They're so they cute, full cute. grown, I can imagine a little one. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I would guess that the eight-week Mars mark is the same for as it is for puppies and kittens, so at eight weeks you can probably purchase them, but uh, again, it, you know, we, we never tell people where to get their pets, but we just know as the only animal shelter in Frederick County, last year we took in over 5,700 animals. There are way more pets in this county than we have owners and adopters, so uh, check your local shelter, check Pet Finder. We have, I think right now, four or five ferrets that are available for adoption, or that well, six that will be available for adoption that are in foster care, so that's six ferrets that were purchased from a pet store at some point that have ended up in the shelter unwanted. So we are reaching out to some knowledgeable, ferret-friendly people to adopt these two brothers. Yes, and, and that to would give be best. these guys a home. They exactly. are so cool. You can call the shelter at 301-600-1546. I have that information on my Facebook page. Big weekend. Uh, oh, yes. Big awesome weekend, weekend coming up. Yes, this is going to be a two-day event, Saturday, mm-hmm. May the 5th from 10 to 6. Is there Adopt-a-thon? Yes. Discount prices? Yes. Incentives? <laughs> yes. And it's going on again with our open house on Sunday the 6th from 10 to 5. Right. And uh, this will have stuff for the kids, moon bounces, canine demos. Mm-hmm. 
and the basket raffles, which are so cool. I've come to this event for the past couple of years. It's a blast, and it's fun, and, and we get so many people into the shelter. So many people don't know that we exist, where we are, what we do, so that's our opportunity to show off. Um, so those two days were open, extended hours, discounted adoptions, as you said. On Sunday, the special event for me, and Carol, it's going to be Team Microchip. Uh, from one, 1 to 3, we're going to have a microchip clinic. And the uh, shelter is where? We're at 1832 Rosemont Avenue. Don't worry, we're going to be all over this this week. Thank you. Thanks for bringing those two guys in. Sure. They are so cool. I mean, I've never had a ferret. I've never been in a house with a ferret. They look like a lot of fun. They are cute. Mm -hmm. Dina, don't take these guys home.